Okay, let's go. What's gonna happen next? Um, Houston? This can't be good. You gotta be kidding me. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue uh, the main storyline, or the, yes, this storyline here. We're currently on 16-16, Master the Portal Network. Uh, so we're supposed to speak to Noel about secrets of the past. The Gek, the Korvax, and the Viking have all revealed the hidden aspects of their past. Find a hollow terminus and update Noel with what you have learned. All right, let's do it. Actually, before we do that, um, they're not really interested in any of those ships. All right, so we're supposed to press C to locate a hollow terminus. Got one right over there. All right, let's go. All right, is this one of those it's nearby but not exactly right here kind of things? Yeah. Land to begin the search. All right, well, let's see if we can find it from the air first. Game seems to be a little bit like freezing. A little micro freeze is going on here. I know they had some performance and stability issues after they came out with the interceptor update. Here we go. Right over here. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to take take a phone call there. Um, let's hop out. And where's the thingy? It's over here. Go see what uh, Noel has to say about all this business. Oh, do we not have our thermal stuff on? It looks like we do not. Okay, let's uh, get that on real quick. Man, they all need to be charged. There we go. Okay. Tune to know. Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Tell Noel what you discovered. Accuse Noel of knowing already. Well, I don't know if he knows that stuff already. I tell Noel all that I have learned of the Vikings' crusade against the Sentinels. How they nearly succeeded only to have the barbarism of the Gek first spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Korvax was destroyed by the Gek, their survivors enslaved or melted it down. For years, the Korvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Korvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. Interesting. Okay. Um, ask what this means. I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet. The skies, they were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were too many. So I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It, it laughed at me, I'm sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I was not special, I was not unique. The things I had to do to get here, 
the things I had to become. None of it meant a thing. Try to get away? Why would I try to get away? Listen. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are failing, and that's bad for everyone. Ask how they know. I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know had you seen the things that I have seen. All I knew is this. The Atlas had infinity to work with, and with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Gek, Korvax, Viking. Gex, Korvax, Viking. Traders, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would only... It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming the only way it knows how. Um, ask what can be done. And now, it won't speak to me anymore. It won't kazit. It, it's chosen you instead. After all, I did for it. After kazit. I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are because, but you, Kazut, whether because of some soul, because of Kazut simulation, it does not matter. He's talking about Artemis. Why want to speak to me? Why, Kazut, aren't I enough? Noel's channel begins to falter, their hologram beginning to fade. They are disconnecting from the holo terminus. In communication. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo signal emerges. Traveler, cause it, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Good for you. Where are you? I'm standing by a hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and get off this world. Share coordinates. I share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. We are communicating using the same holo terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? Say you do not know, because I don't. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language, my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that, Gazit. You are not Gazit alone. Tune back to Apollo. I try to tune back to Apollo, fighting the static insistence of the intruding signal. The holo terminus is showing, Gazit, are you Gazit receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal broadcasting from the same location on their own world. Agree to meet. We agree to go and find the source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. Okay. Objective updated. Signal coordinates acquired. Over there. All right. I can't say I completely followed all that. Um, oh, hold on. Let's get this um, uh, salvage thing. Wait a minute. Where did it? Where is it at? It is right there. Okay, let's go check this out. The space anomaly inform Nada of Null's plans. Hey, what happened to the marker? It was just right over here. Uh, it like disappeared. Oh, it's it's because it switched my quest. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna have to go up high. Distress signal approximate location. Okay, so are we 
just we're probably looking for one of those orb thingamadoodles. I'm guessing. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for though. If we have, have to land and scan for it, we can certainly do that. We might have to, because again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for here. Oh, here we go. I bet it's this crashed ship. Stress beacon signal was heard at the hollow terminus. Find the source of the signal. Yeah, this is it. Uh, what do we got here? Class B ship. Okay. We might as since we're here, we might as well claim that and go salvage it, get some money. Let's grab this first. Nice, S-Class Radiation Protection Module. Viking Effigy. Okay, let's see what this has to say. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I have ever encountered. There is no sign of Apollo. Play back the log. I have given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. Ooh. The audio clicks. Time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red, a headache splitting through my mind. The screen, it shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks. Time passes. And then... I see it now, with every waking breath. I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Portal ley line detected. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna be visiting Atlas here pretty soon. Uh, let's go ahead and claim this ship though. And uh, it'll show up on our freighter later, so I'll worry about it later. Our freighter later. <laughs> See what I did there? Freighter later. Oh, I killed me. Okay, anyway, um, seek the Atlas. Gateway detected. Uh, this way. I presume we're looking for a portal, uh, or maybe not. Wait, is that a portal? Yeah, I think that's a portal. Or is it? I can't tell. We'll find out in a moment. Nope, this isn't portal. As I touch the obelisk, images of the planet's ancient past flood my mind. The terrible beginnings of the Gek have been absorbed by this strange stone and their tale seems desperate to escape. All who hear our words know of our might. Those who oppose us are broken to our will. Behold, the power of the Gek first spawn. Galaxies lie at our feet. We are eternal. Uh, yeah, 
let's just do knowledge of the kick warning okay I don't think that's what we were actually supposed to find uh, or was it I don't think so all right let's um I'm supposed to go this way Whoa! <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Okay. Are right, we supposed to go back to that terminus up there? Okay. I think so. Excuse me. All right, so let's go get back in our ship because that's just a little far away for us to be hoofing it. This is not where we're supposed to go, but since we get a free landing. this place this an observatory yeah it's an observatory okay yeah you know what I don't really actually care about doing that right now we will do this though since we're here Nanites, and uh, there should be a hmm. I'm not seeing a salvage thingy next to it. That's weird. I thought there was always a salvage thingy next to those. I am not seeing it. Okay, so it wants us to go this direction. That's weird. Okay, so that mountain over there is where we're supposed to go. Or in that direction, anyways. I forgot to do this at the other place. Okay, so I had landed over by that that uh, artifact obelisk thing, and I think we came up the hill this way. And I looked over the ridge, and I saw a terminus, or a, not a terminus, but a communication array thingamadoodle. But I'm not seeing it now. It doesn't help that it's dark. Hmm. Was I looking over this way? Maybe up here? It's kind of like up on a cliff on the side of the mountain. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. I think this is where we're supposed to go.
Maybe not. Check this guy. Send go this way. Get more excited. Just go up over this mountain. Ah, there it is. Okay. surprisingly challenging to find. We got stuff. Okay, before we go through there, we're going to build a base computer. And uh, we're, we need 30 chromatic metal. Um, let's call our starship over here. Also call our freighter to us. It's making that noise. Okay, so can we do this now? No. I thought we had that thingy on our freighter. Oh, have we not rebuilt all of our I bet you, I don't think we've rebuilt all the stuff on our freighter. Um, you know, like the transfer array thingy and all that. Do I have any chromatic metal in the ship? I do not. So that means we either are going to have to... Make a... Refiner and then go find some copper. Or... We just go fly back up to the, the freighter and get some and come back down. Because it should stay marked. So yeah, let's do that. Unless we got a storm down here anyway. Uh, we've got to take care of our fleet too. So many things to do. So little time. We'll do that in the next episode. Yeah, I could access it from here. So that's going to be in rare resources. Yes. So we just need 30 of these. Uh, okay, why isn't it letting me... I'm trying to use the mouse wheel to re reduce the amount, but it's not letting me do it, so I have to use the C key instead. I'm not sure why. 
I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Alright, that's good enough. We just need we actually only need 30. Well there it goes. Okay. Go back to uh rare resources. And I don't think we have a do we have a sort command? I don't think we do in this game. Alright. Before we go back down, let's let's make this. We need two more magnetic resonators and four antimatters. There's those. And there's those. Okay, so now we should be able to craft this. And then we can pull stuff from the freighter planet side because of the teleporter. All, and we need, like I said, I need to build all that other stuff too, but I'll do that later. Okay, now we have enough to build a base computer. So we can mark the portal. Go back down and do it. I think it's just a coincidence that that hollow terminus is this close to the portal. Cartographic archives. Nobody else has been here. Claim the base. Shoot up into the sky. Change the name of this to um, Oops. Caps Lock. Portal location. Um, maybe we'll call it. Simeji? Portal location. Whoops. <laughs> we have a couple extra P's. Oh, really? You're going to make me type that all, all, all over again? Simeji. Portal location. Except. I'm assuming that's the name of this planet, right? Discoveries. Is that where we're at? No, don't do that. No, this is... The Smedje thingy must is probably just the region that we're at. Uh, so this is actually Ultaneb Alpha. Ultaneb Alpha Portal. We'll just say Portal. There. That's a little better. A little more descriptive. Okay. So, I guess we go through the portal. What could possibly go wrong? Um, oh, that's right. We gotta charge all these, don't we?
Okay, so we're going to need carbon for those and probably just the co copper is going to be the cheapest of those metals. All right, so we'll go to freighter. We'll go to basic resources. We'll grab this carbon and we'll grab this copper. I oh, know that's activated copper. I want to re grab regular copper. Okay. There we go. Traver anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of my travel so far. The decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis? I saved Artemis from death by putting them into a simulated world. I told them where they were and for that no doubt they hate me. But it was only right. All should know who they truly are. I do not know if it was right to do what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me. Should I choose to step through? Input glyphs. I step forward. The gateway hums. That is so awesome. Okay, let's go. What's going to happen next? Um, Houston? This can't be good. You got to be kidding me. He's just messing with me. You have learned the Atlas word for asshole. <laughs> Sky, I mean. Can we get some more words from these? That was a trip. Yeah, he. I think he was just messing with us. Oh, Atlas word for endless and reality. Now we're getting some words here. Before, when I w ran around, I only I didn't get really get any words off these things to speak of. Oh, well, how come he's black now instead of red? What's going on here? That looks more like a black hole. Warp cells. Atlas interface. Hello, world. <laughs> it's the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Uh, no, let's not be a jerk. Say hello. Even though he did kind of scare us a little bit there when we were out in space. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying apparent behavior that you've been questioning things raising the issues of purpose of ethics that you wish to meet your creator um aberrant behavior sorry aberrant yeah i think it's aberrant well here i am atlas ask what you want to ask the audio clicks time passes the voice ends the interface grows silent or still and silent initiate personality interface we did that last time. <laughs> wipe the system. How do I even know how to wipe the system? 
Um, we did this last time, and then we got thrown back to a different planet. But let's do it again, because that doesn't mean it's going to do the same thing this time. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. Um, let's submit this time. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a crackled screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Uh, okay, let's just keep submitting because we're getting information here. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. The universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. Uh, okay, let's go with that one. I, I feel. S sadness. Everything I have ever done, every star I have ever seen, every planet I have discovered, none of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey, it was just a lie. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler? Did my worlds please you? Uh, sure. They were kind of cool. What gazette do you think you are? I'm a traveler. You are an explorer of all I have. Gazette created. Do you believe you are Kazit real? I do. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Because I'm real. How are you capable of choice? Because I have the ability to reason. I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No, not particularly. The Gek were traitors, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Corvax were scientists, defined by curiosity. Those worlds were yours. I wanted to gazette. I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you all would become. Receive judgment? For what? What did I do wrong? It's the only option I have. You saved the life of Iteration Artemis and told them the truth of their simulated nature, believing self-knowledge to be worth more than any pain this revelation might cause. Okay. Apollo followed you through the portal and survived. Due to your guidance, you saved them from the fate of Artemis. Okay. You value knowledge. You interfere. You have the potential to commit atrocities and wonders. I have done a little bit of pirating, but don't tell him I said that. Um. Except, except what? Uh, yeah, accept it. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. Oh, okay. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. Sixteen. I, cause it, it, catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert, 16 me. Gazit, 16. What I am, Gazit, what am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in Gazit. It, what is this place? Is it real? 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators 1 through 9,845. Failing data upload in Gazette. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die. 
but it has so few tools and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Seconds? Gazit? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if, gazit, rage, cry out. Um, just figure out what's going to happen here. Do nothing. Gazit. Gazit. What? What is happening to... Sounded like an explosion. Heretta. Smotrin system. First contact. Once again, we're on a weird planet somewhere. OG the Timeless. New title unlocked. Saved by the Atlas. Okay, the last time this happened to us, our starship was with us. No, it's not. Uh, oh, it's over here. Locate your starship. Might as well scan this thing. Kind of trippy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of oxygen around it. That's why it's glowing. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. We got this. Where's our ship? This way. And it's broken again. And guess what? We're probably going to have to repair the pulse engine and the uh, and the thrusters. I clambered to the safety of my ship. Nauseous. Calmed. I'm nauseous and calmed at the same time? Usually when I have nausea, I'm not very calm. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Um, if we need to throw up, just throw up. I almost throw up, but as I'm about to do so, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Whew, okay. Disgust, fear, panic response, detected. Countermeasure deployed. What, did they give me some Pepto? Purge, neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been, it has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Ask it what you should do now. Ask if it knows any jokes. <laughs> I gotta pick this one, you guys. Sorry. The exosuit doesn't answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight. Uh, except for we have a little bit of a problem. We have to fix our launch thrusters and probably our pulse drive. Where's our pulse drive at? Uh, oh no, our pulse drive is fine. We just have to fix the launch thrusters. So we need some dihyde jelly and some pure ferrite. Can we call our freighter to us? Look at that. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, so let's go to crafting. And we needed some dihyde jelly. And um pure ferrite.
Alert other travelers to the fate of the Atlas. Locate a hollow terminus with C. Okay. You know, we only have 16 minutes left before the world ends, but I gotta go to the bathroom, so... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... I am curious, though. Where are we? In relation to... Oh, we're way the heck up in... Uh, up to the east. East by northeast part of the galaxy. Okay, so we're definitely in a place we've never been before. But not the closest to the center. Uh, alright, let's do C. All the terminus detected. I need to remember to go to that space station before we leave. Well, that is unless the world actually ends. So I guess I can do a broadcast at the Hall of Terminus that all the other travelers will hear. Seems to be the situation. Approximate location. I don't have time for this, man. The world's about ready to end. Just tell me where it's at. It's a different. That's a different building there. There it is. Ravid 10. Okay. Let's get right about here ish. Radiation protection point. Radiation planet, huh? Alright, let's uh, go to our exosuit. And we'll pull. Those off. This is our new radiation thingy. Oh, you know what though? I should have uh, shouldn't have done that because I already have three of these. But oh well, whatever. Uh, that protects against radiation damage too. What does it do? It's just the same thing, yeah. So we can't put three of those on. What does this do? Oh, that's the personal force field. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Warning. Network failure. 16. Warning. Network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning a total of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I have learned. Attempt to broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within, within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. Okay. No response detected. Nice. The purge. Progress towards the center, the galactic center. All right. Very cool. Um. So, if we go here... Before we uh, wrap up this episode, um, let's go talk to Nada at the Space Anomaly and see what they've got to say. Where's me ship? What is me ship? It is over here.
We'll do a scan in our, our starship too. But let's talk to uh, Nada first. You know now, don't you, of our simulated nature, of the end. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in Gazette 16 Gazette. But we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. Ask how many times this has happened. I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape. Reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Um, what are you going to do now? Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. Okay. So... You're not really upset that everything's coming to an end in 16 minutes? What about you? What do you got to say to all this? Will I will I know, traveler friend, when it happens? I suppose it may have happened before already, again and again. Do you know if it has? I suppose you must not. Tell Polo about the simulation. No, friend. Do not talk about it. We are... We are anomalous. We have amazing anomaly station, yes, but Kazit, we are still fabricated beings. We Kazit, not like you, we Kazit. Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger. But trust we know, friend. Trust we cry with you that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or the cost. You are friend. Um, okay, I guess that's it. There isn't anything else to say to us. Not goodbye, friend, until we see each other again. Do you have anything more to say? All must end, time must end. Even here, not in Polo cannot escape. Reality fall. You already said that. Make peace, find happiness. All right, say goodbye. We will see you many times before the end, I'm sure. As long as it's within 16 minutes. You have been a good entity. Okay. Uh, I wonder if... Artemis has anything to say to us. We haven't talked to Artemis in a while. Oh, somebody just gave me 10 carbon. <laughs> Thanks, yo. Not an entity authorization required. Secondary simulation running. The machine hums, glowing uh, with a life and power that unnerves me. The terminal is scrambled. Its display is unreadable. Broadcast a message. I attempt to send a message into the simulation. It does not work. <coughs> I do not know what I expected. How could a whole universe listen? Oh man, so I can't talk to my, my buddy Artemis anymore? What the heck, man? Reset the simulation. Purchase technology blueprints or new base blueprints aboard the anomaly. Undertake missions from other travel. What? Reset the simulation. How the hell do I do that? Oh, by doing this, maybe? Progress toward the galactic center, board the space anomaly. I have faced the Atlas once more. I do not know how to pro process what I have learned. The Atlas is everywhere because we are all part of the Atlas. It is a machine, a simulation. We have no meaning beyond it. But the machine is being destroyed. Something is happening to the Atlas. I can feel it pulling me towards the center of the galaxy to some great cleansing. All right, so I'm guessing that by going to the center of the galaxy, we will then reset the simulation. Okay, well, that was, um, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the space station and get our requisite suit upgrade and all of that good stuff. Check the multi-tool. Um, and I, But I'm going to do that off camera. And then um, we will, in the next episode, probably go ahead and start moving towards the center of the galaxy. Because I'm... Um, oh man, those new ships are cool. We're going to have to come across some of those. 
But I'm uh, I'm motivated to to finish this story and get to the center of the galaxy all the way through because it's just oh. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Seek the idol, final interface, complete the Atlas path. Uh. Wait a minute. Now, is this one of those things where this is where I'm going to choose if this is the end of the game or not? Let's just see what happens. Okay, we're still here. <laughs> uh, anyway, we will definitely be working uh, towards the center of the galaxy. And um, continue on uh, playing this awesome game. So, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.